Good afternoon, and welcome to this very special episode of the Prop Master's Handbook. We're moving into the field today to bring you the Riddler's signature question mark cane. With us for today's prop is Pastor John Barta. Pastor John, thanks so much for having us today. Good to be with you. Now, when I created the Riddler cane, I wanted, I knew that I wanted chest pieces to form the body of the cane, and I figured that the best way to do that would be to string the chest pieces along a rod. I brought the concept to the pastor, and he suggested we use the drill press. You can use a regular hand drill to drill through the drill pieces if you like. I chose the drill press because it makes the drill and the hole straight through the piece because we want the pieces centered on and even looking on, on the, uh, the cane itself. Would you mind showing us one of the uh, chest pieces? Let's take a look. When you're using power tools, you always want to use proper eye protection so you don't hurt yourself. Make sure your hands are not in the way of the tools. When we're drilling through the pieces, try as hard as you can to get right through the center of them. The shapes of some of the chest pieces made uh, them harder to drill through the center of. For example, this bishop has a very small knob on the top. It's just about as big as the hole you want to drill. So some of the pieces you might, on this one, you might even want to take a saw and cut this top off and then cut the hole through. It varies piece by piece, but this is probably the most difficult one, except for the knight. And the problem uh, that we had with the knight on the cane that we made here was uh, the piece itself was very thin. And so it was difficult to drill through without drilling out the sides. After we had finished the, the body of the cane, it was time to begin to string the pieces along the rod itself. We used a threaded metal rod and basically just screwed the pieces on. Now for the headpiece, I went online and found the shape of Jim Carrey's Riddler cane and sized it how I wanted in the computer and then printed it so that it would be the exact template size for the pastor to cut the headpiece of my cane. We chose a certain kind of um, furniture grade plywood as, as uh, the material. Uh, we chose that because plywood is strong and so some of these thinner pieces on a regular piece of wood with grain might actually break off. So what we did was we actually laid this um, pattern right on the piece of wood and drew you know, right around it. I used a jigsaw to cut out the rough shape of it. Now you could use, if you have like a, a table jigsaw, you could use that. Some people might even use a bandsaw like I have right there. It just depends on what you have. Once we had the general shape made, we used um, some sandpaper and you can use like a like a hand file to round off the corners of it. Actually on this one I used a router with a quarter inch round over bit and that made these edges smooth. Is the um, headpiece screwed on to the rod as well or is there a different process for that? With this one I think we just drilled a hole that's a, that was a little bit smaller than the rod itself and I think we just screwed it on and it was tight enough and the cap at the end of the cane. It's a little rubber cap. I drilled a hole through the center of it, and because it's rubber, you don't have to get the size exactly right. Just make sure the hole is a little bit smaller than the rod, and this just screwed onto the cane as well. After the pastor had finished uh, putting the cane together and assembled the whole thing, I took it home and put a little bit of epoxy between each of the uh, chest pieces to give them a little bit more uh, stability, and then spray painted the whole thing gold, and that's the finished product. Uh, one thing I might suggest as you, in creating your own Riddler canes, because the rod is so thin, as the pastor mentioned earlier, it was very difficult to get some of the pieces onto it. You might try a thicker rod and thus thicker chest pieces to make it more stable and easier to cut through, but there is a trade-off in that your rod will be uh, bulkier than what mine is. Any closing remarks about the creation of the cane? With just a little bit of work, um, it's a great project, great looking finished project, easily doable by anybody in a weekend. Alright, thanks so much, Pastor. Thanks for joining us in the Prop Master's Handbook, and to anyone at Warner Brothers watching this video, I'd be more than happy to make designs like this all day long. See you next time!